Paul wrote a letter to the church at Ephesus. He reminded them of the wonderful blessings people have when they belong to Jesus. This is what Paul said. Before you knew Jesus, you were dead in your sins. You used to live like the world, like those who choose to disobey God. We all live like that, doing whatever felt right to us. But God, who is full of mercy because of his great love that he had for us, made us alive with Christ. We were spiritually dead and he gave us life. You were saved by grace. Then Paul explained what else God has done for everyone who trusts in Jesus. God raised us up with Christ and gave us a seat with him in the heavens. This way, he can show us grace and kindness both now and for all time. For you are saved by grace through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is God's gift, not from works, so that no one can boast. We are God's masterpiece, created in Christ Jesus to do the good works God has prepared for us to do. Paul reminded the Ephesians that they were Gentiles, not Jews. You were born outside of God's chosen people. You were not part of Israel. You didn't know God and you had no hope, he said. But now, Jesus has brought you into God's family by dying on the cross. Before, Jews and Gentiles are separated by hate. Paul said, Jesus is our peace, bringing together Jews and Gentiles as one group. You aren't strangers anymore. You are all members of God's household, and Jesus holds this house together. This was why Paul was a prisoner. He dedicated his life to sharing the good news of Jesus with Gentiles. God called Paul to this work so all people, Jews and Gentiles, would know that they are members of the same body, partners in the promises of Jesus. The gospel brings together all people who have faith in Jesus. God's salvation is a gift of grace, not something we can earn with good works. Forgiven sinners come together as the church to obey God and do his work in the world.